Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So today I'm going to talk about a very important MCQ that is the stress hormone. The major stress hormone of the body is cortisol. If there is not an option, pick the ACTH. The stress hormone that causes vasodilatation, vasodilation in the skeletal muscle is epinephrine. It is not norepinephrine. Stress hormone that causes vasoconstriction is this is norepinephrine. Stress hormone that helps norepinephrine in the vasoconstriction is cortisol. Stress hormone that is released from the adrenal medulla is epinephrine. Stress hormone that is both hormone and neurotransmitter is norepinephrine because it is both hormone as well as the neurotransmitter between the neuron. So coming toward the basic concepts. If you take out the blood vessel from the skeletal muscle and you see the receptors, the beta receptors are more as compared to the alpha receptors. The beta receptors are more as compared to the alpha receptors. And the epinephrine has equal action on both beta receptor and alpha receptor. Equal action on both beta receptor and alpha receptor. Now it depends upon the density of receptor. If there are more beta receptor, as compared to the alpha receptor there will be there will be vasodilation similarly if there are more alpha receptor and less beta receptor there will be vasoconstriction because at alpha epinephrine causes vasoconstriction at beta it causes vasodilatation and if both the receptors are equal in quantity it will neither constrict nor dilate a blood vessel in the vessel of the skeletal muscle there are beta receptors are more as compared to the alpha receptor so it will cause vasodilation in the skeletal muscle in the vessels other than skeletal muscle the alpha receptor are more as compared to the beta receptor so it is vasoconstrictor in a vessel outside the skeletal muscle and it is a vasodilator in the vessel in the skeletal muscle similarly norepinephrine has strong activity in the alpha and less activity in the beta so it's it, it is a chief vasoconstrictor so it vasoconstrict the vessel in the whole body whether the skeletal muscle or outside the skeletal muscle and the cortisol helps the norepinephrine in vasoconstriction how it increases the sensitivity of the receptors for norepinephrine and doubles the action of norepinephrine second it increases the alpha receptors if it is increasing the alpha receptor it will causing vasoconstriction regarding the role of epinephrine in a in a phylaxis shock in the norepinephrine in the septic shock i will make another video but right now why we are using norepinephrine in the uh, septic shock because the alpha activity is more as the beta as compared to the beta so it's strong vasoconstrictor in the in the septic shock the main thing the main pathology is the vasodilation so it vasoconstrict and the epinephrine in the anaphylaxis because there is bronchospasm now epinephrine has weak bronchodilator properties the epinephrine has a strong with bronchodilator properties as well as vasoconstrictor properties outside the skeletal muscle so that was a short video regarding the hormone concepts